Hello. Uh, before I announce our winner this evening, I'd just like to take a moment to remember a fellow journalist, a writer, and an LGBT campaigner who was murdered this year. Lira McKee was what all journalists really want to be. She was brave, she was courageous, and she was ballsy. You could tell that just by her writing. But she was also funny, kind-hearted, and loved by everybody who knew her. Lira died trying to understand the story that she wanted to tell, because from what I've read about her, she was that stubborn kind of courageous journalist who wouldn't take no for an answer. She asked questions, she went the extra mile because she always wanted to find out the truth. Our winner this evening is the BBC's Ireland correspondent, Emma Vardy. Something that really struck me when I first came to Northern Ireland is the undercurrent of violence which still exists. More than 20 years after the Good Friday Agreement, paramilitary shootings and bomb threats continue. And as Kate was saying, this year we saw the death of the journalist Lyra McKee, who was shot by the new IRA. It was a tragic story that none of us wanted to be covering. But in the aftermath of that, what I wanted to do was to expose those people who lend support to the new IRA, and I wanted to question why a small group of people should be allowed to intimidate local communities. People see you as having endorsed the violence which killed Lyra McKee. Mr. Mellon, how do you justify that? How do you justify that, Mr. Mellon? You say you represent the community, but the community here have made it very clear you're not welcome. Another problem, Mr. Mellon, youth workers tell us what, that what Siri does is deliberately target young people with your propaganda, and that helps encourage people to go out rioting. You don't really care about their welfare, do you? Is that responsible? Siri's a very vocal organisation at times, very vocal on social media. What do you have to say to people today? Northern Ireland has taught me a great deal because we've seen what's at stake when extremists can gain influence. And what I've seen is that without a government, it's even harder to overcome those divisions that extremism thrives off. And now the future of the union is under question. Brexit has brought the call for a united Ireland back to the fore. And from what I've witnessed on the ground, I think over the coming year, there's certainly a danger that some people will try to capitalize on what's contained in Boris Johnson's Brexit deal to stoke up sectarian tensions even further. So I think it's gonna be incredibly important for people in Northern Ireland to find a resolution to Brexit. For me, it's been an incredible, incredible privilege to be covering this part of the UK at such a critical time and to be able to challenge those individuals who want to take Northern Ireland backwards. Thank you.